girlies have spoken. Okay. <laughs> so. I mean, I'm saying what kind of deal is today? Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. The book girlies have spoken. I have seen your support watching my previous book video, the reading vlog that I did for The Italian by T.L. Swan. I saw the love on that and I saw that you guys appreciated the book content. So today, ah! we're gonna talk more books. Okay, I thought I was the only one really here swooning over fictional characters, okay? I think the book girlies are here. Welcome to the book girlies. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Muna. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. 88% of you who are watching aren't subscribed. <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel. If you want more book content, I will bring it. I will bring the book content. I'm currently thriving in my reading era right now. Like, I love it so much. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I thought we could talk about the book series that I need to get through before 2024 is over. These are series that I have not started. I'll talk about the ones that I'm in the middle of in another video, because that's a long list. But in today's video, I thought we could go through some of the ones that I really want to get into, but I haven't started. Some of the books I have physically, some of them I don't. First of all, this particular series I do not have physically, but it's a no-brainer that it's on this list for me. It is A Court of Thorns and Roses. Obviously, that entire series needs to be read before 2024 is over. Genuinely, I can't believe I've made it this long without reading it, to be honest with you. Like, honestly, like, I can't believe I've made it this long without reading it, which is kind of criminal. Let me know if you guys are in the same boat. There's at least one person that's in the same boat as me that hasn't crumbled for the you know court of thorns and roses series just yet but is willing to and wants to but it's just a bit too intimidated you know because i think there's like five chunky books right and then even going off of that it's like the whole series is like ugh, it's, it, that, that whole sarah j mass i've not read a single book by sarah j mass don't think i'm ready to go down that spiral of sarah j mass books you know because you've got the crescent city you've got the shadow and bone no not shadow and bone the girl with the sword you know that series there's a lot there's a lot to uncover and i just don't know where to go but anyway that's definitely on the list before 2024 i at least want to start i think it's just the starting i at least want to start a court of thorns and roses that needs to happen asap so then i believe this is a series as well but i have the physical first book so i definitely want to read this one and continue down that series but anyway this is a mafia romance but even the my heart club the my heart club series that's one i haven't started it ain't me babe even that one but i think that's a bit too um what's the word ambitious you know there's a lot of books in that series so this is one that is a must for me should i leave you guys in a bit you're a bit too far away yeah there we go yeah that's better i have to read this in the next couple of weeks because in the wait i think it's coming out early august so technically i need to read this asap and it is it ends with us by colleen hoover i want to read this before the movie comes out so i need to read this asap so i want to be in the know you know I, I like reading books first and then watching the movies later i feel like everyone did a 360 right now they've got hope for the film apparently so the woman was too stunned to speak let's see what this book is saying i remember when the trailer came out and they played taylor swift everyone's like yeah okay this this might have potential you know but before when blake lively was cast and stuff like loads of people were chatting so much rubbish but now i think i don't know i saw steph doing a review on the film and she said she enjoyed it so i trust steph so let's see if it'll be good but yeah so i want to i want to be in the know i want to know what goes on so i need to read this one and i need to read it starts with us so yeah this is a series that i've had on my list for a while but i just haven't started it i think the movie coming out in august is really going to make me like put the fire up my ass basically like it would really help me finally start this series so the next book is also a very very hyped viral book right it is the housemate this is a thriller and i've heard endless things about it i've had many people who've read it and said they loved it and they enjoy it so i'm really excited to start this book and see what it is about the sequel to this one is the housemaid's secret i think now that actually there's also a third one out i'll put it on the screen somewhere because i can't remember the name it is getting bigger and bigger so i bet a start on this series that's what i'm really really excited about because my friend lily also read it and she said it was really good so i want to start on this so the next book 
is another very popular one. It is now a series as well. I'm not really that much of a fantasy reader. I've read like one fantasy book and it was barely fantasy to be honest with you. I haven't dived into the fantasy world but I think romanticy is the first step I should take before I dive into the fantasy world. You know like a little taster, like a little introduction to the fantasy world. So I've got this one powerless and i don't think this is going to be disappointing i've seen the girlies on instagram and tiktok and youtube like kicking their feet while they're reading this i'm like yes i'm so ready for it it says hunted hunter destined for each other okay i'm there i just love the inside of the pages as well so i'm really excited to dive into this world read this story i think now there's three books in this series one just came out recently this year so i need to get into this series asap because i've heard so many good things about it what do you reckon i should start with should i start with the akatar series or should i start with this you let me know because i actually really want to dive into fantasy but i don't know where to start you know another book that's really really popular you know what come to think of it i don't think i've ever read a cowboy romance and he, that is all the rage these days as well, you know. People are going to see Twister just to see <laughs> Glenn Powell in a cowboy hat. Literally, I don't blame them, okay? But this one is Reckless by Elsie Silver. This is one that I'm really excited about. This cover, I love it. The colour pink. Is the vibe today okay yeah so this one particularly i don't know why i didn't even know these were popular i saw it on amazon it popped up on my amazon it was like very cheap i was like okay like come on come through with the pricing like i don't mind a romance book that looks like this and fits the aesthetic and it's cheap come on it actually piqued my interest because i'm almost free of my toxic marriage and have sworn off men entirely so all i see when i look at theo is temptation served up with a heaping side of heartbreak the man is hard to trust and even harder to resist okay so i was getting grumpy sunshine right i don't know like a grumpy man make that impossible because theo is persistent and no matter how hard i try to freeze him out he melts my icy exterior oh wait maybe it's the opposite like she's the grumpy and he's the sunshine i don't know then i spend the singular hottest night of my life with him it was supposed to be a one-time thing a secret but that little plus sign is going to make the secret impossible to keep so it is also like unexpected pregnancy and i was like yes i'm there for the drama i saw that and it just it just drew me in you know it just drew me in i don't even know what book in the series this is i think it's called the chestnut springs series um i don't know if i can read this or i have to read them in order please let me know is it better to start from the beginning or is this the beginning hold on i need to do my research okay i'm just so excited to talk about these books that i haven't even like looked at the order i just ordered it online <laughs> sue me okay <laughs> up next the next book that i have on my list has been on my shelf for a very long time okay one that is very intimidating and i haven't started it because it's so intimidating to look at to even think about starting okay it's just one of those books this one is midnight sun by stephanie meyer eee! just the sheer size of it it's just like oh my god you know let's see how many pages it is 756 pages close that book right now so that's mainly the reason why i haven't started it i don't have the patience i don't have the capacity i don't have you know just everything to go into a 700 page book i like the satisfaction of when i finish the book i'm like oh i finished it a little 300 you know like that's the vibe i get satisfaction from going on my goodreads and saying it's done it's read this will take me a while to finish and i don't want i don't want to be in a reading slump so that's why it's not read by me yet i love the twilight series it literally it was my childhood it was me growing up but the fact that also i think this is edward's point of view from what i'm assuming is it's not really much of a new plot is it him going through the same stages that happened in twilight but it's just from his perspective his point of view although i would love to know what was going through his mind majority of the time i don't know if i i am that curious I don't know if I'm that that curious to be honest with you. I'm not too sure. This one's kind of like a 50-50. Mm, it's something that I should read because it is on my shelf. Another series that I do really want to read is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have heard so many good things about this series. It's a mystery, thriller, and it's now become a TV show. So I really want to watch the TV show. So I need to read the books. I really want to read the Addicted series. I haven't read a single book. And I'm kind of like ashamed to say that because I think it's about friendship, it's, it's, it's given sisterhood, it's giving, you know, all the feels. And I don't know why I haven't read it. Also, there are a lot of books in the series because it does follow like a lot of couples. But I need to just get over my fear of that and just go in. Go in, dive deep, and I'm sure I'll enjoy the ride, right? Another one is the Magnolia Park series. I haven't started a single book from that. 
why why i know it's so many people's favorite series and now i'm like just go for it sometimes it's like the expectation it scares me the expectation scares me because i'm like yeah i expect this to be great and then i hype it up so much and i'm like but what if it isn't you know what if i don't like it what if I'm the minority and I don't like it? There's so many more series, but I think those are the ones I need to get to ASAP, to be honest with you. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today and chatting about all the series that I want to read for 2024. You know, it's mid-year right now. If you're in a reading slump, I'm sure you'll get out of it soon. You still have time. Try to reach your goals that you had set for the beginning of the year. I'm trying to now catch up because I was in a big, big reading slump the last couple of months. But now I'm trying to catch up and I'm in a good place. All the love in the world, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.